all right guys welcome back to the channel so paid a quick little visit to new and vintage where they are painting the 335 is uh tim's car that we are working on as you can see it's right here they're in the final stages getting it ready for paint uh we got the roof off everything is completely out of this thing so they are going to leave the carbon hood uh glued overnight so that it's ready for paint the rest of the car is all ready uh, they got the trunk uh, the hood front bumper all this stuff and we're gonna get the engine bay cleaned up over here get this ready for paint as well uh, one last thing that we're gonna do uh, we have the glass guy coming over so they're gonna actually pull this uh, glass off here just so we don't have to mask off this <clears throat> this line here you know get it done the right way the way we can apply it an even coat of paint and not have to worry about mask lines or anything peeling off later on so here's your update tim <clears throat> hope you like it um they're telling me the roof is going to be dry overnight and then tomorrow the following day they're going to start with the painting on it so uh realistically probably a couple more weeks left before this thing is done and then uh I can start doing the rest of my work that I have to do on this suspension, interior, obviously put the motor together, put that in, but there we are. All of these stickers that are over here, so your VIN tag, your TPMS sticker, your tire sticker, um, all of these are gonna be removed. Everything painted the way it should be. And then we're gonna uh, order all of these from the dealer and replace them. Uh, we may need to special order them, but um, you know, it's better than, than t again, taping it off. We're gonna get it done right. So everything's gonna be painted and we'll put fresh stickers on there now, so. All right, guys, I do want to let you know if anybody is looking for a black headliner for E92, um, obviously the one that we removed from Tim's car, we're no longer going to be using because he doesn't have a sunroof anymore. So I'm going to just clean off all the dust off of it, but there it is, a OEM black headliner for E92 along with the black sunshade no sagging everything is good on this thing so we'll probably put this up for sale if anybody's interested hit me up we'll figure out a price on this thing but yeah um we did order a m3 e92 headliner so it's completely um, it's all one piece without the sunroof Obviously, since he has the carbon roof now, we won't be needing this, but yeah. Now I'm gonna grab my uh, GTS hood. We're gonna take that over to the body guy who's doing my car since uh, they're supposedly started on it this weekend, but I don't know if that's true or not. We're gonna go take a peek right now and see. Um, I gotta get the whip cracked on these guys because they're taking way too long on my car. So that's going to be uh, up next. Alrighty, so moving on with my 335 IS, the white one that I'm going to be selling. Uh, I just went ahead and placed this order with FCP for uh, almost $1,200. Um, everything that we're going to be replacing on it. So we've got a new drive belt kit, timing chain tensioner oil pan gasket we got a new thermostat new gaskets for the oil filter housing we're going to be doing the timing chain all new guides 
uh, guide bolts, the oil pump chain, we've got the uh, chain guide, we've got the head gasket, we're doing OEM head bolts, the adjuster bolts for the cams, for the cam gears, oil pump bolt set, we're doing the upgraded seals for the cam ledges, oil pump sprocket, cam uh, crankshaft sprocket, the washer, and the upgraded crankshaft hub. So, uh, so you guys can see, all of this is getting uh, replaced on the new motor that we're putting in the, it's an 8-bolt motor. I don't know if I told you the backstory on this, but the uh, original 6-bolt motor was seized. Uh, one of the, I think, cylinder 6 bearings are seized to the crank. Um, so instead of rebuilding that motor, I have a a good running 8 bolt motor that I purchased um, that just it was just a, a a short block so no head or anything and I have a spare head laying around so we're gonna do all new timing components change all the gaskets on the 8 bolt motor that I have and then I also order the 8 bolt DCT flywheel from BMW so we can use that 8 bolt motor in the 335 IS so these items should be here within the next couple of days. In the meantime, I'm going to take uh, the short block and start taking it down, you know, double check everything so that when these parts come in, uh, we can start slapping this thing together and get it in that white IS, um, get that thing over to detail. I'm going to have my guy uh, freshen up the front bumper on this thing. Um, it's not horrible, but it's got some, you know, regular everyday driving Hitting, as you can see here so we're going to freshen up this bumper um, get rid of this uh, rubber stuff that he's got here and then I uh, should have a uh, front lip to put on this thing um, I've got the rear I got a rear spoiler carbon spoiler on order so I'm going to go ahead and clean this up as well and yeah I mean the rest of the car is it's mint doesn't need any body work or anything so we're going to get this motor freshened up throw it in the is and hopefully within the next i would say two to three weeks that is will be ready and up for sale and then right now we're working on this uh customer's car right here uh, and i like these jobs you know i give credit where it's due and uh, we're doing rod bearings on this car um, it's not knocking or anything it doesn't sound like it's knocking it could be in the beginning stages according to what the customer said i didn't see any gold flakes or anything in the oil filter housing um, but you know this is good preventative maintenance um, to get done on these cars so we're doing uh, rod bearings on this thing we should have it ready for tonight possibly tomorrow morning I'm just waiting on the bolts to come in from BMW for the caps. And then what else do we have outside? Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Oh yes, the Amar's car will be next. As many of you know, we have the uh, motor that I built on his car and that thing is running beautifully. However, he's got some strange leak going on with his dock race uh, drain line feed line. So he went ahead and ordered new drain lines and feed lines from dock race. So we're going to be putting that in. Um, we did also order a spline VTT crank hub. Um, didn't spin or anything, but uh, we're going to be taking this car to impact. So we want to make sure that we can bang gears and it's going to be safe. Um, so we got the VTT crank hub that we're going to be doing along with that oil leak repair that we're doing on his car. And yeah, you guys saw the Project three, uh, Tim's 335 IS that's getting ready for paint. So we should have that back in a couple weeks. And I have a couple motors that I'm going to start putting together now for a few customers that are out of state. And yeah, that's where we're at over here at BBC. Um, I'll update you guys throughout the day, see what other projects we're working on, but we're pretty busy here. Um, I got some organizing to do 
um, put up some parts for sale. So a pretty busy day today. Um, obviously we got the 4th of July banger special uh, that we're accumulating fireworks for. So you guys be safe and I'll update you guys throughout the day. All right, so we're gonna end the video here. Just to recap, we had a pretty busy day today. I just finished up doing the rod bearings on that E90 X drive. Uh, we just gotta put the subframe back in that thing and that thing's good to go. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, we did a high pressure pump on an N55. Uh, we did injectors on an N55. So a pretty busy day today. Uh, same thing tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this car that was on my channel earlier in the year when we opened up the shop. So this thing's back. We're gonna do a built DCT. Uh, we got SSP clutches with the billet basket that we're doing on this thing. So I'm gonna try and make a video on this. Um, this will be in the shop within the next couple of days, probably after we do a Mars car. Um, right now, I've got this car here that I'm trying to diagnose. I don't know if you guys can help me out with this or if anybody has had anything similar happen, but basically, Buddy was driving the car at the track and it caught fire, as you can see right there. She caught fire. Um, there was a leak between the manifold and the turbo. So all the exhaust gases, you know, uh, caught the wiring on fire. But anyways, the guy replaced the harness. Um, I mean, I went over everything. Pretty much everything is plugged in. He did remove the JB4. Um, the only loose wire that I can find uh, is this one here. Uh, but he's telling me that that was for the port controller, one of the wires you tap into for the port controller. So um, the weird thing is it's not really throwing any codes. So, I mean, maybe there, I think there was one. It was a boost deactivation, but I mean, that could be anything. I didn't see any other codes. There's no DME codes. Uh, he was getting injector codes after he did it. So I'm assuming he burned uh, some of the injectors. Uh, but he put new injectors in, coded them, so now there's no more codes for the injectors. Um, unless by shorting out the injectors, he fried the DME. Uh, we may have to do a new DME and cast module, but as of right now, it's not throwing any DME errors or codes, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna pull this one in tomorrow and do some more diag on this thing and see what else I can find. But as of right now, it just cranks, no start. You can smell that there's fuel, there's just no spark. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Is this here. Um, Lewis is going to be finishing up the uh, putting the uh, rod bearing car together. He's just going to put the uh, subframe back in, tighten everything up, and that thing will be done. And then we can pull a Mars car in over here. Like I mentioned earlier, we're doing the crane cub on this. I didn't spin it. We're just doing preventative maintenance, you know. So, doing crane cub install on this thing and fixing the oil leak that it had. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna try to do more daily, daily uploads. And if there are certain jobs you guys want to see done, um, I'll try to make videos of them. But what else? What else? I think that's all for today. Um, unfortunately my car there's no progress on chalk i went over and dropped the hood off and the fenders or quarter panels that i got from bmw they're still sitting next to the car um, he told me he was going to get started on it last weekend so not much has changed with that i'm not sure if i should just pull the car and take it to somebody else um you know He's already, he's already gotten money from insurance, so I'd have to get that back, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I mean, there's no rush for it now, but I would like to get the car back eventually. So um, we'll see if I do another video tomorrow. Um, I mean, 
may not have anything to record, but um, I'll at least pull in that white one and do some more diagnosing with that thing. And then I've got this N55 here, which we did injectors on today. Uh, and it's got like a weird idle and it's throwing an air intake temperature sensor code. So I'm thinking um, it's something to do with that plug. It's also been like posi tapped together. So I think that plug has something to do with it. Almost sounds like it's got a vacuum leak. I'm not sure. Uh, those two will be next for tomorrow. N55 problems. Hate them. Hate working on them. The only thing good about them is the way they sound. <laughs> That's about it. All right, guys. So we'll end the video here. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Huge shout out to you guys. We are right there, almost at 3,000 subscribers. So we uh, definitely want to keep going up with that. But I'll catch you guys later. Bye.